All right. You guys are. Yep, you're good to go. All right. Um, did you know children under the age of eight do not possess enough cognitive development to fully comprehend the intent of uh, an advertisement? Although there are laws and protections put in place to protect children's rights in regards to marketing, marketers are finding loopholes to use children as a way to make profit. Um, a major current issue in marketing is the misleading selective advertising channels, wrongly marketing to children and unethically using children to market. Uh, my name is Kevin, and this is Morgan, Danielle, Kayla, and Jeremiah, who are the fund makers. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about the use of online advertisement to target the children. Uh, with technology and online usage rapidly increasing, Online advertisement is an industry that is growing at a rapid pace. Of the children, uh, of people, children are the most vulnerable. Online advertisement can be found in almost everything we do now, from the website, uh, game apps, to uh, social media, YouTube, and everything we go to has advertisement on it. Uh, according to data collected by ABG Technologies, a global security software company. 66% of uh, children ages 3 to 5 know how to play an online game, and 62% can turn on a computer. Uh, here you can see a couple games on um, like your iPad or iPhone, and once you're done playing a game, an advertisement comes up, or you can't click it, it exit out unless it's like right there, or you have to wait for the close button to pop up. And um, so already at a very young age, they're being bombarded with advertisements through some online. And I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Morgan. Okay. Uh, I focus on advertising to children in magazines. And as the years have gone by, um, the average age for magazines such as Vogue, Cosmopolitan, and Glamour, the age has decreased and minors are making up 15% of the reading population. And when placing advertisements in these magazines, marketers need to be more cautious of who they are reaching and the advertisements need to become less appealing to young girls. And one of the ones that I saw was um, Camel Number no. 9 Cigarettes. Um, they were very appealing to young girls through their um, usage of colors and giveaways such as lip balms and lip glosses and things like that to look at younger girls and when they were asked what their favorite cigarettes were, 22% of young females, whether they had smoked cigarettes or not in the past, had said that Camel was their favorite um, cigarette and these advertisements are leaving such an impre a lasting impression on young girls um, that so many of them answered this and we really need to focus on how to change this because they're finding us going to set these loopholes on how to reach children, whether they are trying to or not. Alright, so the leading products that are being advertised to children are high sugar cereals, fast food restaurants, and sodas, which has contributed to the quick rise of childhood obesity. And the main issue here that we're seeing in relation to marketing is that children are unable to comprehend the tactics that the marketers are using to sell these products. And we have an example of one of these tactics that we use. Menthols cost? Your smooth skin. Smoking menthols or regular cigarettes causes wrinkles that age you prematurely. What are menthols costing you? Come on, kid. I'm Drew Brees. And I'm Harry. Who? From One Direction. What the album? Dudes. I'm the Super Bowl. I'm the color. MVP. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. MVP. 
give them the Pepsi, you can be in the band. Really? And live while we're young. <laughs>
depending on, you know, if my mood is bad that day, or maybe it's, you know, the same as I do use a rubric, which I posted uh, in the syllabi, and I do follow that very closely to be subjective, but I absolutely can. I would like to say that you all did a really good job with your presentation. I was very, very impressed with this group uh, as a whole, in terms of professionalism, and, you know, doing a really good job with PowerPoint. I like the ones that use Prezi. I think that's, that's always the most present not so many years as PowerPoint. All right, so I'm going to let you all go. Again, we'll have a speaker on Thursday for a little bit. We'll talk about channels, and then I will do a review for exam three. Um, and exam three will be. Um, it's going to be on Thursday. Exam on next Tuesday. Okay, guys.